right. Well, welcome everybody to today's webinar. My name is Alex. I'm going to be hanging out with you here for a little bit here today. Uh, today is actually a, uh, a unique webinar. We're not actually going to be going through the uh, overview of the program like we normally do, but what I want to do today is actually dive into a specific process that we have here in Aplos, and that is the process of bank integration. A lot of you come to Aplos wanting to um, you know, use this for your organization, but uh, want to download transactions from your bank in order to save you some time. And that's actually something that we offer here. So if you are a, an accounting customer of Aplos, you do have access to this bank integration. And if, on the left-hand side, if you click on accounting and then go to transactions, you can find the bank integration tab right here. Now let me, let me get here. And I'm gonna go back to here so we can start at the beginning. So when you first hit this bank integration, uh, you're going to have this field right here, which asks you, what is the name of your bank? So you're going to go ahead and type that in. So let's say this is going to be uh, Chase, right? So you type in the name of your bank and hit search. And then that's going to bring up a list of all the banks that match whatever you typed in here in this field. So if you have multiple uh, you know, results like this, what you'll need to do is just scroll down here, figure out which one matches uh, what you're looking to do. So Chase Bank looks like that. You'll also want to make sure that this is the correct URL that you use for online banking. If you want to just click on that, that'll bring it up for you like that. And when you found your bank, click this login button. And then this is going to ask you for your credentials. So this is going to be your user ID and your password or whatever other um, <clears throat> you know, information that your bank requires of you when you log in online. And then hit next. And what that's going to do is authenticate the information with your bank. Uh, if there's security questions and stuff, you'll need to answer those on the next screen. But then once you have it set up, you're going to land here, which shows you the banks that you've added. So here's that Chase Bank that I didn't fully add, but uh, it added the name there. And then the other banks that I have added as well. So this is the CC Bank. This is just kind of our demo bank. Uh, so once it's added here, this is where you can now manage what accounts in your bank do you want to be linked with what accounts in Aplos. So for instance, my checking account here with my bank. I want my checking account with my bank <clears throat> to be linked with my Aplos checking account. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what you're going to do is hit link account, choose what account you want that to be linked to. So if I had a savings, I can link that to my savings account like so. Click submit. And that will go ahead and save that connection. <clears throat> now, when you're done linking your bank account with your Aplos accounts, you're going to scroll down here and click Done Managing Accounts. When you do so, you're going to be brought to this screen, which is now the screen that you're going to see for the most part whenever you hit the bank integration screen. Okay, So you can see that we're in my checking account. My bank is linked. And if I hit Retrieve Transactions, it's going to contact my bank and bring in all of the recent activity that has hit my bank within the past 90 days or so. So there you go. So here is the list of transactions now from my bank. Now, yours are gonna be a lot uh, prettier than this. this. Again, this is just kind of a demo account, so uh, it's got some pretty plain information in here. But what this does, again, is brings in all the transactions that have hit your account. So now, <clears throat> what this is a process of is you going down the line of all these transactions that are listed making sure that the note, the memo, and the payee are correct. So if you need to make some changes here, you can. And then the, the last thing that you're gonna to need to do is just select an account. So an account, uh, when you're entering a transaction, uh, you wanna pick one of your expense accounts for a payment that you've made or some sort of expense and an income for any of the deposits that you have. So here's a deposit, the green dollar. So I'm gonna pick one of my income accounts. I'm gonna scroll down here. Let's say this was you know, interest earned. And then for my expenses, I've got, uh, let's see, this was bank fees, okay? So go down the line here, select an account for each one of these transactions, and then hit import. Now what this does is it moves it from this kind of clearing screen that has the big long list of everything, <clears throat> and actually moves it into your register. Because again, this is not a, uh, an automatic thing that kind of happens for you and keeps it up to date. Because this is a full accounting software, we still do require you to pick an account. So this bank integration thing, is uh, mainly a time-saving tool for you for data entry. So if you have you know 100 transactions that have hit during this month, you don't need to you know flip through all your receipts and enter everything by hand. You can use bank integration to bring those things in automatically. Okay. 
So if I were to go back to bank integration, here's all of the transactions here that are left for me to import. Now, if you ever have been manually entering some things and then you do a bank integration, you're gonna notice that there's a little red exclamation point over in this kind of section over here. And what that's telling you is in Applos, in your register, there is already a transaction that matches whatever this is. So let's say if I already had this $10.24 uh, cent uh, deposit in there and that matched all of my you know, criteria here, then it would have a little flag and say, hey, this is already entered. So in that case, you don't wanna enter this again. So what you would do is click hide. That will remove it from this list so that you don't see it in the pending screen anymore. This also applies to those of you who are setting up bank integration maybe for the first time but have been using Applos for a while. Or you know maybe you started, uh, you put in your starting balances as of the beginning of October, but um, you know bank integration goes farther back than that, like here are my September transactions. So in that case, uh, all of the ones that either match or that don't need to be imported for whatever reason, you can go through and click this little button here. So I'm gonna, you know, let's do the September ones here. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna select these September transactions because I don't wanna bring these in. And once those are selected, I will hit hide selected and then that will remove all four of those from the list. So now I'm only importing what needs to be imported, okay? Uh, last little tool here is if you wanted to split this transaction up amongst multiple accounts, just hit this little orange plus button here. That will then add another account and another fund that you can select. So if, uh, you know, 1023, let's see if, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if uh, five of that was, um, you know, something, you know, five of it was a portion of that, my remaining balance is $5.23 that I need to allocate somewhere. So I'm going to pick a different expense account like electronics and then the remaining 523 and then hit import. That's going to go ahead and bring that in as a split transaction. All right. So that is bank integration in a nutshell. Uh, again, it's a time-saving tool for you to use in Applos to be able to download transactions from your bank, saving you time. And then you just go through here and assign it an account, hit import, and then that will uh, bring it into your accounting so that you can run a report and uh, go about your other responsibilities. If for some reason you ever experience issues with bank integration, if it's not you know, bringing down transactions or it's not responding right, then uh, up in the right-hand corner here of bank integration, there's this Manage Accounts button. That if you click on that, you'll go back to this management screen where you can either update your login for the bank or remove the institution. So like I, I partially added this one. I can just hit Remove. That'll remove it from my list in just a second. There you go. And so, you know, for instance, if my CC bank wasn't bringing down my transactions or responding accordingly, the first thing you want to try is hit update login. That will allow you to uh, kind of refresh the connection with your bank. And if for some reason, if there's issues on top of that, like that didn't work or, you know, you're seeing something else or an error or something, then uh, by all means, reach out to us or click this little plus, this uh, little question mark down here to start a new conversation with us. And uh, we can help diagnose what's going on for you. All right, so that is bank integration. Again, uh, for all of our accounting users, this is a time-saving tool for you to enter transactions in Applos. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. All right, uh, what I'd like to do now is open it up for some Q&A time. So if you have any questions regarding bank integration, let me know. And if you're watching this as a pre-recorded uh, you know, session or whatever, if you're watching this on YouTube, then uh, feel free to uh, give us a call at one 888 274 1316